Hi friends, in the part 1 of our uh, Python PDF generation, we have seen how we have placed the image, how we, the fonts are written in different different colors and layout and everything we have seen this image, line, rectangles, all the things. Now we'll see, we'll generate this, this mark sheet, but here is a difference. We will use again the template method. So, whatever in this line, in above this line and below this line are coming from the template and the rest of the things we are writing it in, in a particular page. And another thing is what this, this mark sheet font and this whatever is written in the black font is part of the main page. Whereas, whatever coming from the blue color here, named, class, gender, mark and the grade is calculated these are coming from the database so we have used a uh, sqlite database here you can use mysql or uh, you can use excel csv google sheet any data source you can use it and just replace the part of the code or the connection string to get exactly the output here so we'll see this and then we'll move towards invoice we'll start from here see this so the first line we are importing our uh, uh, from a report lab we are using canvas canvas is our blank screen where we will be putting our image text and all the things so second line i am just setting the path here so this will be my file what i will be creating so in the path in your case it will be definitely a different one so try to change the path and there are some dimensions ins letter this all this we have discussed in the part one please watch the part one carefully because we will not be discussing much about the layout here because layout already everything we have discussed in the part one so here it is now again we have used a template here so blank template so we have just imported that one i have just specially created little bit of layout here and there i changed and the text is changed because it's going to be a mark sheet so the end semester exam march all this we are writing and uh, at the again we are calling it and showing the blank one so just if you run once this one will create a bank blank template so let's just see wow how our template page looks this is our template page so here you can see i'm just uh, some layout part only mm, here i just added a website name then here one thing you must understand that here these three lines takes the current date and create a string out of it data time i'm importing date strf time convert the date object to a string and finally i am printing the string here then again i am changing the font then adding the end semester examination at a small font i have written at the top so below that at the end of the page you can see the green line and below that one copyright information and finally the watermark is here how to do the watermark and all these three four lines we have also discussed in this let's first see how this looks so let me just run this once and go and refresh this i will refresh it this is our blank template with we have not written anything here you can see at the top this end semester examination this is the date current date it has picked up because i have used that that uh, date library and here the below that inside this whatever will feed now in our main page at the top we have written in the big letters that mark sheet i am just pasting that code see here this RGB, so R is maximum, so it's a red color. You want to change it, change these values. GB, I have kept it at zero. Font size is 70, and this is the location. I am giving at 6.4 from the x axis, uh, from the left uh, margin, and from bottom it is 7.5 towards top and this is i have written it here this layout is important we had entirely discussed in the part one here is a image to help you to understand it starts from the bottom left so that's all let's just run once and see how this work so the our file is created now i am just reloading see the mark sheet has come up after this, I will first reset the font to back to the normal font because throughout the page, otherwise it will be font 70, big font. So here I will paste the code. So what I am pasting it here is I will just mark it after this line, line number 10. This is the portion you can just watch. Here you see I have just filled the color at 00. I am going back, then set the font and size as 24, reduce from 70 and 
the location see the all the what i want is id name class gender mark grade and signature to be displayed this is the standard black font what you are displayed so here because all has to align in that so everything 2.5 2.5 x i have given and y value from the top it is 6.8 for id then below that it is coming whereas i'm keeping the x value here it is just constant so it is aligning with the left and you just see the draw right string right means this will be uh, light right aligned string uh, earlier in the part one we have seen draw string it was there but i i can do it center aligning also draw center string so here you can see that i have given the y value i am reducing because below that line again one more line but when it is coming to grade i have just given from left offset i have moved instead of 2.5 i have moved it right and below that one signature i have written so that comes at a distance of six inches from the left these are all layout you have to experiment and do i i have not also got it at one stroke so let's just run this and see how far we have moved here it is now let me just run once here you can see id name class gender mark grade and signature i at is here you can experiment and place the x and y values and change it also now we'll add our database part so here i'm just pasting a similar code what's this what i am added here the comment line connect to sqlite and collect the student table because for this example i'm using sqlite database you can use anything else also so line number 22 these are all the sql kme driver and note the line number 23 this is the error module I am using because I am using SQLite. So I am connected to the file here. This is just the path I am giving to my database. In your case, it is going to be changed and you can also create the database file and all your, I'll just leave the link at the description. You can simply download the database file also for your users. Now, and that database file will have the sample that student table also. Now, because I am using SQLite, so I am just creating a once more the path and connection string I am creating. Create engine file one. Now, if you are using MySQL, then this line you comment this line, line number 27, and uncomment my connection. This line you uncomment and this line you comment it. Sorry. Uh, fine. If you are MySQL, then in that case, give your user ID, give your password, give the database name, everything you give it. Beyond that, the code remains same because the variable connection string name is my connection is used subsequently. I'll just back again. I will keep this. I am commenting this. Even you can use Google Sheet, CSV file or uh, any JSON file also. Anything you can use it and Keep this variable part name remain same so you can just change the three four lines to get the output now i am just creating a record set record set equal to my connection execute now here i will write the query now select sorry select star from student student is my table name where id equal to let's say 15 i'm directly giving it to make it simple but in your application when you develop you can take the id from a kinder application or from anywhere so that the whatever student name you select corresponding pdf will be generated so this id can be taken from any other application fine i'm just for our uh, understanding here right now here we are keeping it now i'm selling my data equal to r set fetch one fine now i have ready with my data now because i know it's a one row of data so i have not used fetch all or anything because i don't want to loop it through but i will continue now my data is that entire row of id 15 is available data bracket zero is id data bracket one is name i'll just for your understanding i am just giving data sorry here i will just write it print data one this will print the name of the student name will be printed zero is id one is name this is the part of the structure if you want to see the structure here it is here is the structure of my student table we are for all our tutorials we use this as a sample table 
So fine, this is not required here. Let me just comment it. And at this stage, there is no output. So let's not go for the demo. Now we'll display the data. Now we'll place our data on our uh, PDF page. So I'm just pasting the code here. You can see this end of here at the top, we have discussed up to this. Now here we are just filling color as RGB. This I am giving it as a blue color. Why blue? Because uh, the data part I am giving blue color font. This is the font only I am adjusting. Now the I have reduced it to 20 because all the labels I was using earlier, you can see at the top here I am using 24. I slightly reduced it because this is the data part I am reducing it to 20. Now then draw string. I am not using now right. Here I was using draw right string, right aligned. Now it is by default it is left aligned. So I am using the, that string. Now here you see I am giving data 0. Data 0 is my ID. But when I am displaying the ID, I have to convert it to a string. So I am using this is converting. STR will convert our integer to a string because this is a string don't uh, write directly there that will generate error now data one is the name i need not do anything directly i can do that i can print that now data t is i think the gender now uh, sorry this is the class this is the gender and data three is my mark again i have to use str or i have to convert it to a string to display it now comes the grade part because uh, I, I again I am using the mark here data 3 is the mark so if data 3 mark is greater than equal to 80 then see draw string at the slightly I'm moving offset I'm giving left from the left edge and giving the grade as a if it is got LF if it has failed then the next case then it is B grade then if it lastly I am giving it as C grade if it's not none of this grade you can just change this and experiment because I was uh, different different uh, uh, students have uh, mark uh, values are different so we can check it that's all friend let's just save this and I am running it once so my file is rewritten where it is I have given ID as 15 you can check our student table and you can use our connector also so let me just go here refresh this here it is id is 15 the name class is 4 whatever is in the blue font that has been taken from the sqlite database grade is a because 88 mark is there now let me just go back and change this to 6 i know the mark 6 who got it is less mark i am saving running it again so my pdf file is once again generated now refreshing this reloading the page id is 6 mark is 55 below 60 so c you can just experiment with uh, less i think uh, something around 33 or 32 i think it got a grade i am just saving it running it again and refreshing yeah got a grade so you can just based on the mark only the grades are assigned or you can add more features to this so the one important thing you must use this error sql came error why because anywhere whatever you are using because you are not likely to do any mistake because it happens so mistake this error message gives you lot of information that tells you exactly what uh, went wrong and debugging this error message is the key to the programming it's not that exclusive this particular error message it is common to any type of programming error message tells you it's the biggest teacher it teaches you lot of information so always put the error message print the error message and keep this as a standard template whenever you work on the database as in the python mysql because these are all common again to any mysql or anything else so connection string will only change so that gives you instead you will get a blank your output will not come you will not be knowing why my output is not coming here it will tell you what exactly went wrong inside your query this is the uh, output from the database so that's all friend uh, We'll next move towards invoice generation and all other PDF generation. I request you please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. So you'll be notified as and when we add new tutorials. We frequently do that. Please share it with your friends and ask them also to subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching and once again, please subscribe.